um, involve people that haven't been mentioned yet. Um, I lived in Butler for, four, yeah, it was four. The year, you lived in four also, Jean. Yeah, it was four. And the film students studied at the back of Butler Four. And every morning, soon after I arrived as a transfer student, Cesare would arrive with Taco and soon Simone in the morning, and he would drop them in my room. This is a, a vivid memory. I had two children for the day, and I took them to classes with me, and I thought I was coming from Boston University, and I arrived at Westbury, and I was expected to go to classes and have children with me. And that was just sort of, Cesare had not been mentioned, and he was um, a pretty important part of a lot of people's lives who, who were here. And I don't know how many film students are still here. I think a lot of them left. But they were, they were very much a part of the fabric of the world, and of, of our world, as well as um, Diane's kids who were also always there. And I was struck when I got here the way in which children were so infused into our lives, which was so very different than most people's college education. That they were just, you know, they were dogs, they were children. People picked up when someone had to do something, someone picked up those kids and took care of them. And, and that was just sort of one little vignette that's very strongly in my mind as my voice is going. Um, and another another memory I, I, about count the count where I had two actually one may be moderately X-rated but I think we've touched on it. Um, the first one was that I wanted I, I used folk dance and I was teaching a folk dance class as a PE credit and I remember going to Count's office one day and he was talking to me about that I don't even know why I went and he said well you know I know a wonderful Greek folk dance. So if you will teach me a dance, I will teach you a dance. And again, the juxtaposition of what I had experienced at BU, which was anything but wonderful. Um, there I was in Count's office, and I taught him a dance, and he taught me a dance, and we were dancing through the president of the university's office, and I, it's, it's an incredible memory, because as you all know, it has been mentioned, he moved like a gazelle, and it was just thrilling to dance with him. Um, at one point, and I don't remember when it was, I'm thinking it was sometime in um, the fall of 70, um, Count invited a few of us to dinner in, in his house down at the bottom there. I know Chris was with me, and I don't remember who else, and we sat and we had a lovely dinner, and we were sitting in the, in the living room with, with the windows, and there was a circular drive, and the rented cops kept going around, and at one point, Count said, would you all like some hashish? <laughs> Um, was uh, at one point when, when the police on Long Island were busting a lot of colleges, um, the, the, the rule was, because I had a cousin, my mother's cousin was a, one of the seven ups who were the drug cops who busted the French connection, and so he always gave me his card. He said, if you're ever in trouble, you know, call my station and tell them you're related. So I always had this card in my pocket. <laughs> we got a call. Um, apparently they had to call the president of a university before they were going to bust a school. So it was an evening, I was in Butler 100 this particular year, and the phone call came through to the president of our university, doesn't count, and he called John Mander, and he called several other professors around the campus, and the word got around, tonight was Westbury's bust, and you started to hear flushing everywhere in all the dorms, and the police came driving down through past the stables, searched everywhere, found nothing, and left. 
And I thought, well, you know, this card can stay in my pocket a little longer. This is pretty cool. So those are those are sort of things that are unique and 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 to me about this experience, other than all the other things that you guys have mentioned. Um, I'm trying to think. There were there were a lot of people that haven't been mentioned. I'm trying to think of stories about them. About I was in the theater program with Nicholas Novakov and Jim Dwyer, whom we were unable to find. Uh, well, Nicholas is dead, <laughs> but but Jim we were unable to find. And I, it, it, fascinatingly, I can't think of very many stories, which is odd, because everybody in this place seems to have had a story. I don't know if anybody else has stories about people who have not yet been mentioned, but. I'm not going to talk anymore.